rejoicing response. I'm sending good thoughts to you that I've packed as words on a page and folded into a boat which I've pushed out from Stony Gap, County Kerry. Back along the Gulf Stream, sliding like elvers down past the Azores and curling around the Caribbean islands, picking spices out of the foam. These spring winds beach them in spray and buffet them through the pine-coned clay miles of the deep south before catching on the coattail of Appalachia asleep in a geode. My thoughts descend after the thermals of the Cumberland Plateau over knobs of folded velvet and the tufted shoots of blue grass where they wheel along the thigh of the great river, falling as dust, catch caught as crystals in the beams of the sun to drive through the soil of your garden to wait for the becoming of grass, waiting for the becoming of you on that grass where, like Kerouac wrote, God with forefinger pointed straight at you said, Go moan for man. And in Ireland, I've also seen through the great towering thunderheads which belittle the mountains and their great body clefts, sucking up the spray and fury of white foamed Atlantic swells, shafts of sun, gashes of light streaming forth, forefingers pointing down upon all the small people, all the small world. I've seen where man has pointed his finger straight back and broken stone of unbelievable medieval towers and valleys of unimagined labor saying, here I am, insignificant me in the wild, insignificant me in the bosom of this nature, but significant me in the palm of this humanity. And although you are a ghost to me, a disembodied voice, a muted screen of greetings and feelings, a thin white page, a world of words, you are pride of Kentucky to me, 3,500 miles from home, as much as horse flesh, as much as bourbon, as much as the landscape of Singer to Nob Hills, bluegrass, mountains, and rivers that I've often said goodbye to from tiny airplane windows too thick for me to feel the heft of final Kentucky winds. And all that taught to you by the wandering rabbinic Bodhisattva Ginsberg about going, 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 going on, about seeking the new experience, the discovery, the exchange, the connection, the sympathetic, is no longer about the continent of North America. The world has become beat. And the beat of the world is the beat of us all. The beat of one heart no different from the beat of another 10,000 miles away. Changed by Che Guevara on his motorcycle and his swamps of lepers. Changed by the Dalai Lama and his pure compassions. Changed by Kerouac, who showed us that to experience, you just need to open your eyes. Changed by Ginsburg, who is the king of May and us all. Changed by Ron Whitehead and his dedication to the global renaissance of poetry. I saw it as I walked down by a quiet canal in Leyden, Holland, eight years ago, 23 years of age, and saw two brothers with overburdened backpacks, one brother autistic following being shown the cities and towns and people of Europe, and what thoughts he must have been thinking with all this so different from the spaces of America, the gridded streets of home so uniform, the sundown of America over wheat or mountains or skyline skyscraper cities so different from the sundown of Europe, but sundown the same as sundown, the beat of his heart there the same as the beat of his heart here, and as I passed, I heard just two lines of a conversation that swelled the beat of my own heart with such joy that it leaked from the corners of my eyes. Do you want to go there? And the rejoicing response, yeah, let's go there. I saw it in a harmless email that I sent to a poet in Kentucky in which I wrote, Hi, my name is Sean Callahan. I'm a poet from Kentucky living in Ireland. And you wrote back saying, send me poems. Come, read poems with me. The world is poetry. Come, let's speak the world.